Good morning, Salem family. Today is the second Sunday of Easter on our Christian calendar. I'm Paula Overman, and this is our community time for announcements and prayer requests. This coming Wednesday, April the 22nd, is Earth Day. Hopefully you can enjoy some time outdoors and remember to give thanks to God for his beautiful creation, the Earth. One upcoming event that you can remove from your calendars is our annual Mother's Day celebration dinner on Friday, May the 8th. It has been canceled. No meetings or activities are taking place in May for now. We'll keep you posted as to when we can all be together again. I have some health updates on some of our Salem family. Pastor Jean is not feeling well. She has flu-like symptoms and is in communication with her doctor's office. She's at home for now. Diane Ward has been admitted to the VA hospital. We have no details on her condition, but the family is asking that we keep Diane in our prayers. Remember to keep O. Hamilton in your prayers. He's in rehab following a fall where he fractured his arm. John Peterson is continuing to heal in rehab. Virginia Kroos is doing well. Brian Hernhart's mother is improving. A church member has a personal family connection and asks for prayers for the sailors on the USS Theodore Roosevelt. And let's remember to keep all military personnel in our prayers. If you have additional requests or updates on church family, please call Martha Randall or call the church and leave a voicemail at 317-873-4014. Thank you. Members of our church family are finding ways to stay connected to each other and to be in worship with God. Folks are calling or texting each other. We have messages and music posted on the Salem United Methodist Church Facebook page. Also, a daily devotional group has been added to the Facebook. It's called Salem Family. Be sure to look at these sites and make a call to a friend.
Let us pray. O oh Lord, hear our prayers. I know you have our best interest in mind, but right now we are having a hard time understanding all that is going on. Give us strength. Keep us under your wing. Help us through these times of trouble. Help us to do more than just survive. Help us thrive in this situation. Let us take advantage of this opportunity in our homes with our families by getting to know our families more thoroughly, the way we need to know you more thoroughly. We know you know us. Help us to know you. Help us in these times to do your will, praying for those who need your power to heal in the battles against the COVID-19 illness as well as the cancers and the other illnesses we battle every day. We have our struggles with high blood pressure, heart disease, mental illness, obesity, and the flu, and broken bones. Thank you for all the people who care for others, the doctors and nurses and aides and cleaning staff and cooks, the police and fire EMTs, the seldom acknowledged grocery workers, stock people, cashiers, people who clean the carts, and the people that write cards and make phone calls helping to spread goodwill. Help all of us treat our neighbor the way Jesus taught us to treat all others. On this second Sunday of Easter, let us remember how Jesus Christ died on a cross for us. He made a blood sacrifice for my sins, and for your sins. He paid in advance. Let us show our thanks for His grace by praying the Lord's Prayer He taught the Apostles and they taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now is the time in a normal Sunday service that we would collect the offering. But I won't call the ushers down because they would have just a little trouble stopping by everyone's home and knocking on each door. But don't forget, there are a lot of people around the world that depend on the church for religious leadership and training and help with everyday needs like food. If you would like to tithe the church, you may mail your checks to Salem United Methodist Church, 6701 South 775 East, Zinesville, Indiana, 46077. Or you can go online to www.friendlycountrychurch.org 
And there are instructions online to donate online. Thank you. Good morning. This morning's message is titled, Roll That Stone. There used to be a show on TV where they would go into a person's home that needed remodeled or rebuilt and they would turn the old home into a brand new home. Extreme Makeover Home Edition. They'd send the family away on a trip and on the final day they would park a bus between the family and the house. Then Ty Pennington would say, Bus driver, move that bus. The new home was revealed and everyone would cry and jump around all excited. Keep that image in your mind. Now go back 2,000 years. Jesus was just crucified, placed in a borrowed tomb on Friday, and on Sunday morning, God's angel comes down and says, move that stone. Okay, not really, but yet it was kind of the same. Last weekend, Bishop Tremble's Easter message, the Bishop talk, talked about many things about Easter. It was a great message. If you didn't catch it, Kathy sent it out the link last week with Pastor Gina's message. But one thing he mentioned, and it wasn't even one of his main points, but it caught my attention. He said, they didn't roll the stone out of the way for Jesus to get out. They rolled it out of the way for us to see in. Jesus didn't need help getting out. God had that covered. Jesus could have left at any time. He arose on the third day, just as God has promised, as the prophets had foretold, just as Jesus had explained to his disciples. Matthew 28.2 says, Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and rolled the stone away and sat on it. John 20, 316 says, Why are you crying? The angels ask her, Because they have taken away my Lord. She replied, And I don't know where they have put him. She glanced over her shoulder and saw someone standing behind her. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Why are you crying, he asked. Whom are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned toward him. Master, she exclaimed. They were afraid they were alone, that they had lost Jesus. But they found that after the stone was rolled back, Jesus was with them forever. Today, don't be afraid. Jesus is right behind you, even when you don't realize that it is him. Now, if you'll join again with our recorded Zoom call, the first verse of God will take care of you. Now for our benediction. Today is the day that we must roll the stone out of the way, not because we need to find Christ, but to show the rest of the world 
that we know where Christ is. He is in our hearts and our souls. Now is the time to go make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Amen. Have a good week.